and slowly approached the strangely glowing crystal. He had no idea as to what it might be. Like any good hero in a dungeon, he just couldn't keep his greedy little fingers to himself and touched the crystal. As he did, a brilliant light filled the room. When the light faded again, Barthus lay badly wounded on the ground. With his last breath, he stammered, For the watch, and gave up his life. However, his actions had set something free. Like many other heroes before him, he had inadvertently released another great evil into the world. The corrupting evil. It had long rested, unaware that two of its siblings were already awake and fighting for supremacy. Its servants awoke with it. The undead. Now they rose from their graves. Skeletons, zombies, ghouls, frights, Nosferatu, all following their vile master's plans. As well as they could, undead aren't exactly known for their intellectual prowess and are therefore sometimes referred to as the mindless army. They didn't forget Barthus' corpse, the corrupting evil's creatures carried his corpse forth and laid it to its final rest. Then they turned their attention to the living. The North Watch. The wall would fall and the mindless army would head south. To where the corrupting evil's siblings were already waiting. And there we go, folks. Welcome back to Dungeons 2. The Game of Winter, I think it's called. A bit of a, a play on words there from Game of Thrones, I think. So this is the second mission. I have a couple of requests to so they'd like to see more, so here we go. And so the ultimate evil awoke. Wait a minute. The ultimate evil? Oh no, that, that, that was the main game. Yesterday's news. <laughs> and so the corrupting evil awoke. The all too curious Bartha Snow had released it from its crystal prison. It felt its brothers to the south, and it would meet them very soon. But first, there was unfinished business to take care of. The icy wall to the south protected the realms of the Alliance. It had to be destroyed so that the mindless army could march. The huge ice wall was insurmountable, but an old gold mine would play an important role in its destruction. The corrupting evil had to gain control of that mine. Before that could happen, however, a mighty army would have to be raised, which of course required a thriving dungeon. Immediately, the corrupting evil set out to build a dungeon and raise an army of combat-capable creatures. How does one build a dungeon? <laughs> the corrupting evil already knew that, of course. It had no need of extravagant tutorials, but immediately went into action. And so I do. There we go. We've got that done. What have we got here? We need... Bit of that. The mana greedy evil had built a mana tomb. Once it had hired a fright, the sweet little thing could haunt the place and produce mana. How many of those we've got? Four. Let's uh, put two more of those on it. Workers. Oh, is he going to do that? I think he is. Let's get rid of that. The cutesy impression was misleading, for this traumatized spirit was a psychopathic creature who listened to and followed the deadly and bloodthirsty promptings of its teddy bear. 
The vile evil found these endearing qualities indeed. In addition, it also haunted the manor tombs, where it either produced mana or researched new spells. A bloodsucker had risen. These fly-by-night creatures were cowardly and didn't even do any work, but when paired with an undead guard, they could make an insidious combination. Paired with an undead guard? What does that mean? I don't know. I need to clear some space here so we can get some... ...an alchemy lab going. Come on, boys, hurry up. We need more action. An alchemy lab was built. Here, the cry to itself evil skeletons would in future brew up nice new gizmos such as traps and the like for the dungeon. Would they discover the Philosopher's Stone in the process? Well, unlikely. Very unlikely. Searched and we need that, that, that. 500 gold for that. That's right, come on, boys. Dig, 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 dig. Let's dig that out there as well. It's payday. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Need to get some more gold in then. That should do it. Get one of these there. Just little changes. There we go. 200. A yes. bone warrior had risen. These bony cronies were armed with rusty swords and would prove most useful to the vile evil in the alchemy lab. So what's done here? Fifteen or twenty. Right. 
two glare pots. I need one more glare pot. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Right, research that for me, please. Where are we going to put this? I think we need. Undead like it calls it, and that undead status lies down is them feeling somewhat dirty. Might as well need a place to relax and wash and treat aptly called the final resting place. Okay, I will put that there then. It didn't take long before the corrupting evil had erected a final re yeah. resting place. A wise decision, for his undead were already craving a place where they could rest their weary bones. That's not worth big enough. How are we doing for mana? Ooh. Let's get that. Nearly there. Come on, chaps. Beat up. More, more, more. I'm sure that might be big, so that should be big enough, I think. Right. Do it to where this ends there, there we go. Searched a bit quicker now. The corrupting evil had now learned the army of the dead spell, with which it was able to gather its mindless army at a given location. Useful. Very useful. Yeah, very useful. Alright, come on, hurry up, I need this. I'm taking the zombies are like the uh, Yeah, the armor is so that is new very spell important. has been developed in the mana tombs. The ice spear. Here we go. The corrupting evil could use it to slow down and damage any enemy stupid enough to come into its sphere of malignant influence. It's payday. Zombie had risen. This brainless creature worked. 
in the laboratory where it researched numerous improvements for the undead army. They were pretty decent melee fighters as well. By the way, that green stuff there. Near the Great Wall lay an old gold mine. It would be essential for the destruction of the wall and had to be taken. At a wave of the keeping itself at a safe distance evil's hand, the undead creatures marched off. Yet they didn't get far, as there was no exit to the upper world. However, the corrupting evil's hard-working minions were certain to change that at any second. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get the hint. Right, let's, uh, let's move up here a little bit as well, won't I? Ooh, yes, we need that. Oh, saving. Okay. What are we doing here? I need to finish this off. 300. Come on, boys, hurry up. Any second. Two of them working. We can guess what's going on. The dastardly evil had long hidden itself from its creatures, but now the time had come. Since it could not march to the front itself, it had raised an undead general. Someone who could throw themselves suicidally into the fray. Bartha Snow was the new Lich General. <sighs> what? What happened to me? Bathus was still a bit unsteady on his feet, not yet accustomed to the rotting flesh. But all too soon, perverse evil's commands rained down upon him. Yeah. Master, I will do as you say. The wall must fall. The North Watch must die. <laughs> Who wouldn't appreciate staff that helpful? The sound engineers around here could certainly learn a bit from him. Hey, hey, don't turn it down. <laughs> oh, I really do like the, uh, the commentator. He's brilliant. All right, um, what was he doing that? Right, okay, let's just going here. Let's leave that. Oh, right, okay, you can motivate. Bathos, where are you? A new spell had become available. Retreat allowed the cowardly evil to order all of its creatures within the area of effect to immediately retreat to the throne room. Some traps to I think. Martha Snow. <clears throat> but some spiders had captured the exit to the surface for their own purposes. 
These would first have to be persuaded to get out of the way. Kill the living. That's what I meant. Very good. Payday. Spider lay dead on the ground. While their legs would definitely have made a delicious soup, undead simply have no need of food. Therefore, their remains were left lying where they fell, unused. With the conquest of the spider's territory, the mindless army was able to claim the exit to the upper world for its own and use it from then on. Thank you. The Fright in the Manor Tombs has researched a particularly insidious spell for the wicked evil. The Blight. This spell allowed it to surround all its undead creatures with a poisonous aura that damaged enemies in close combat. <laughs> How utterly abominable! Shall we wonder what was happening upstairs, eh? This is the way. The first of the mindless army's undead stalked into the sunlight of the overworld. This powerful army would soon spread throughout the countries of the Alliance to wipe out all that lived. Corrupting Evil's activities had not escaped the North Watch. Suspicious, they sent a scouting party to explore the catacombs. Here, they would experience a most unpleasant surprise. All right, I'm just going to get raided. Destroy those buildings. Okay. Cool. Need to get some resting done. You need to research another room, I think. Yes, yeah, cemetery. As quickly as possible, please. And we've still got another creature to. Let's get another zombie. 25 for 25. Can we increase this? Not enough mana. What are we doing with this? Nearly finished with one. Need to try and get a few of these up really before we start taking on these people outside, otherwise we'll get our asses kicked. Rather faster. There we go. 
Cemetery complete. Right, let's get that near here, I think. What's a cemetery do? That. Oh, it brings them back to life. Right, okay. Alright, we need a bigger place, bigger space for that. Oh, I've got one here. Cemetery. The forward looking evil built a cemetery. There, those undead who had died again could once again rise to toil for evil. It's payday. There are enemies in your dungeon. Enemies have entered the Again? dungeon. Really? Heal thyself. It's okay, and they're okay. She needs a bit of help. There we go. What do I do that? So I think it's now just a case of 
getting all these skills up to date. How are we doing? Right, one of these can start on this. There we go. And then this won't be nearly be finished soon. When that's finished, I'll get them started on another one. Try and get all these skills up, especially the, the fighting skills. Then we can move out into the open and start taking on some of these mobs that we're going to fight. Alright guys, so in the meantime I think we'll call it there and I'll probably do all these this skilling up and what have you off camera and then we'll come back in the next episode and we'll go out and kick some butt. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. This is all great, signing off.